Hello, my name is Keith. Welcome back to my channel. This is All Things Tenerife. It's in the air, you feel that it's bringing back images. today down in Las Cristianas again and take you for a little walk up towards the Golden Mile up that general direction uh, let you know what we got up to yesterday we got a little bit more work done on the apartment uh, we've got a little bit further down the line so more we had the plastering done yesterday and it's all finished so the plastering is all done uh, painting and decorating there in there today so that's gonna start uh, some of the walls are, are ready to paint from the day before stuff that was done yesterday won't be ready for a few days so but we're getting close we're getting much closer now it looks like an apartment it looks looks like something other than a building site which it did look like when we arrived and that wasn't oh neither of us were particularly happy but we just sort of grinned and bared it and got on with it so uh yeah so that's it is what it is uh it'll look a lot better today ceilings and bits and pieces are getting done the, walls that weren't plastered and those that are dry will be done today there's a few little bits of finishes but a ceiling fan uh, ceiling fans have to go up uh, what else have I got to do or have they got to do uh, as I said there's little bits odds and sods to be done which is not not a huge amount of work but it does look it looks really good I'm dying to see it finished now so we can give it a good clean and get the rest of our furniture in uh, some of it arrived yesterday it's still boxed, hasn't been opened yet. Uh, TV stand arrived yesterday. We have a shelf for above that, that arrived. Uh, table and chairs arrived. The high stools with breakfast bar, they arrived. So yeah, when you see all those little bits and pieces starting to come together, you can see one, that it's gonna be a home and two, that it's it's just, it takes that, has a horrible building site look of it, but it's getting there. So today, looking forward to it more progress when we get back so last night uh, where did we end up oh we ended up in the star of bengal up in los cristianos uh, probably my favorite indian down this part and uh, staff no matter what no matter how many times you've been in there always always first class service no matter what okay big sore h10 on the right adults only uh, stayed in it several times. Uh, fantastic hotel. A little again. Not a huge hotel. Uh, famous for the fact that Elizabeth Taylor once and Richard Burton once stayed in it. People of my era will know who they are. Younger people watching this won't have a clue. Uh, I suppose they were the posh and becks of the posh and becks of their time. Uh, Lads are playing bulls this morning. That's actually a game I like. I can see myself when I get older. I can see when I get old, but I mean when I get older, uh, playing a bit of that, sitting down here in the in the sun. Uh, yeah, so Star Bengal. Cracking a little, cracking a little restaurant. Love it every time we go. So starter, we had. Uh, let me think. Uh, chicken pakora and uh, the sizzling uh, chicken tikka, which was lovely. And then main course, we had king prawn curry. And excuse me, made a bit of noise there. King prawn curry and uh, butter chicken which was really, really good. And like I say, the, the service on there is fantastic. The whole bill came to, including four beers. It was like 55 euros or something ridiculous. But the quantity of food you get and the quality of the food, it's just fantastic. So highly recommended if you're looking for one, a good Indian down Los Cristianos area, 100% recommended, 10 out of 10 every single time. So 
I say it's not far from where I am now. I'll actually walk you up as far as then and then I'll finish it. I'll just pop in now. A little shot of what we had last night. <laughs> Now, as you can see, looks absolutely fantastic and tastes even better than it looks, I can tell you that. So, can't, if you're new to the channel and you're looking for an excursion, this is the only one I recommend on the island. All things Tenerife, 100% every single time. No one knew, the little restaurant in front of it. Did stop there earlier on for breakfast. Sat for about 15 minutes before anyone even came near me, left, went down to Tosca 7, which we've passed earlier on. You've mentioned, I've mentioned it before. I've often put that in vlogs when I walk by because it's such a fantastic little restaurant, whether it's breakfast, lunch, whatever you want. Uh, so this morning we had two, we didn't go healthy, although I keep threatening them, I'm going to go healthy. Uh, two full English breakfast for like three euro, three euro 80, I think it was just dirt cheap beautifully cooked hot tasty and all English projects so yeah definitely the one to go for if you're in this area what I have noticed around here is that the breakfast places don't necessarily open early early they open around I don't know, nine o'clock sometimes before they're all open I've been down here before early very early morning vlogging and uh, they haven't been they've only had starting to get stuff out so as well as you're on your holidays you're not getting up with the crank of dawn for breakfast unless you're me but that's just because i don't i don't sleep in the morning i like to get up early but that's not by that's not i suppose that's not by choice that's just a default to me i find it difficult to get up or to lay in bed so here we are star of bengal as you can see they're getting ready they're getting ready at this hour of the morning this is being filmed at five past ten they say 26 odd degrees at the moment and we're heading we're on the 22nd of December. Not a bad day. So there you go, Star of Bengal. Cracking little spot. There we go. Gimbal wasn't wasn't communicating with me today. So I'm gonna finish up there. See if I can get me into some sort of light. Okay. Now, so that's I say fabulous little restaurant. Give it a go if you're down this end looking for a really good Indian food's fantastic. Beer is cheap. It's not expensive. Two euros a pint or so. Through fifty-three euros a pint. And staff and food fantastic. Okay. Talk to you soon. Take care and don't forget hit the bell, like and the subscribe button, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks a lot.